Hello, nice to meet you here at Hannover at the show. The show is uh, focused on the industry in general. Um, the industrial markets are fragmented, as we all know, each of which have their own requirements, partly demanding requirements. So uh, what is the reason you are aiming at these low volume, middle volume, niche market like uh, industries? Yeah. So first of all, let me put this in the context, right? So uh, the, this is a, all these, uh, let me say, industrial IoT is driven by the digital transformation, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Industry 4.0 and all these kind of new trends, right? Um, there are some estimation of the, the digital transformation generating a spend of almost four trillion dollars in uh, 2027. Mm -hmm. So, and so this is the let me say the opportunity and the business opportunity that this digital transformation is putting in this industry, right? In order to address the digital transformation, you need three major pillars. AI, you need a computational capability in your plan, in your technology, and you need a smart connectivity, right? And we have all of this, right? And so this is, this is the way in which we want to address this opportunity, enabling an ecosystem of partners, right? So, that is, that is the way, right? I think the, the ecosystem is the important part of it because you have to cooperate with many different partners in different uh, industries. Um, could you give some examples? Here in the Bosch uh, Rexroth uh, mm -hmm. uh, booth, uh, one example of our collaboration, right, mm -hmm. in which we are, together with one of our partners, iSafe, mm -hmm. they are, we are building a, a control, an automation control system utilizing this uh, ruggedized tablet for utilizing the uh, control X uh, uh, flow, mm -hmm. which is a, a motion linear uh, controller built by uh, Bosch Rexroth, mm -hmm. integrated in our solution jointly with, uh, uh, with ISAF. And this is a, a 6490 uh, QCM platform. Mm -hmm. you, uh, you just acquired a UK startup company, Foundry IO. Foundry is our IO, our building. A, a, a kind of uh, native software, mm -hmm. uh, an open source software that will mm -hmm. be built on top of our technology mm -hmm. so that the, the third party that has to develop application and solution and even AI model are, uh, will have this job much easier. Mm -hmm. Now, it's also important to say that, you know, in February we announced our AI Hub, right? So our AI Hub is a repository of uh, artificial intelligence models mm -hmm. pre-optimized so uh, uh, our customer can utilize that model to in an easy way to be uh, developed on top of our solutions. And by the way, we made some announcement at the Embedded World in particular, right? So in which we announced the, uh, uh, the RB3 Gen, Gen 2 platform, mm -hmm. which is the first platform that we are, uh, let me say, uh, enabling with uh, the Linux uh, 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 software on top. And we made partnership uh, with some of the uh, biggest players in Europe. Okay. Uh, you organized here at the show yesterday the uh, DX Summit. Um, could you give a brief summary and um, yeah. what, what uh, have the, the highlights been? The, the, the X Summit is exactly in the context to enable you know, the, this kind of ecosystem. We have uh, more than 10 partners from uh, you know, these module vendors like Avnet, Embedded, Seco, Sigma, the Design House, mm -hmm. but up to the ISV and to the, even to the uh, system integrator like Deloitte and others, mm -hmm. right? So, this is really the way in which we, Qualcomm, want to play. I mean, not only with our technology, we want to make our technology easy to use, and we want to make our technology being a core asset to our ecosystem of partners. So the DX Summit was exactly in the direction. You see the power and you see the, the urgency for everyone to move into the digital transformation. Okay, so thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you.